I came to Southeastern Regional Medical Center about two and a half months ago, and it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, probably the best decision I've made in my life. I'm originally from Kentucky, a uh, native of Kentucky, and I've never been outside of Kentucky, but I think North Carolina was probably the best choice for me if I were going to go anywhere. The people have been wonderful, and Southeastern Regional Medical Center is everything that I thought it was going to be. I have found um, the medical care to be exceptional the medical staff to be um, very competent and caring about their patients, and the staff at Southeastern Regional Medical Center has just been um, tremendous. My background is nursing, and I think that's what I bring to the table coming to Southeastern is that I do have that passion for excellent patient care. I believe if we deal with what the patient's needs are and handle those appropriately, everything else will work its way out. Um, certainly we have to balance finances with the, the patient care, but patient care has got to come first. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree from Eastern Kentucky University in Richmond, Kentucky, and a master's degree in nursing from Bellarmine College in Louisville, Kentucky. And both of those, I think, have prepared me to be where I am today, but they didn't do all of it. I have actually um, had a lot of mentoring and people who believed in me throughout my career. I've been in healthcare now for about 27 years, and I started out as a nurse at the bedside on the 311 shift on a med surge unit a number of years ago and I learned a lot from that particular experience and I, I've been able to uh, grow throughout my career. Had people have given me opportunities to grow and have made it possible for me to continue my education and to develop skills throughout, throughout my lifetime. And I hope what I bring to Southeastern Regional Medical Center is that focus and, and that history that I've had. Um, I ask a lot of questions um, but most of all I think I believe in what I'm doing and I believe in what Southeastern Regional Medical Center wants to do. I believe in the mission of this organization and where I see it going in the future is that it's just going to get better and better. It's got a great foundation, things are in place and we just need to make sure that over time what we have coming um, from this organization is the highest level of care that we can possibly deliver. We need to make sure that the patients are first and we need to pay attention to the details. You know, our patients come from all different walks of life, and um, they may not know anything about health care. But they know whether our floors are clean, they know whether our food's hot when it's supposed to be hot, or cold when it's supposed to be cold, and they know if we treat them with compassion and treat them as individuals. And for me, that's the ultimate. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be treating each patient as though it were one of our family members, as though it was our mother, our father, our child, our grandmother, our husband or someone that we care deeply about. As long as we do that, we're going to deliver the best patient care possible. Our patients trust us to deliver good me medical care. We have to be competent in what we're doing, but that compassion and attention to detail is what they're looking for. And I want this organization to be the organization for the people in this area. I want them to not have to think about going anywhere else. I want them to believe in Southeastern Regional Medical Center and that this is their facility. Um, that if they come here, they're going to get the best care possible, and they don't have to travel distances to get competent, compassionate care. We can deliver that here. We can take care of them at home. I believe my job is to be a leader and to facilitate this organization where it needs to go, um, to make sure that we're good stewards of the resources that we have available to us, and that we've got um, the things in place that it takes to be a world-class organization. Um, focus on the patient take care of our employees, make this a place where physicians want to deliver care, and we'll be that top-notch organization. You know, I came to North Carolina to follow my husband. I am married. My husband actually accepted a position in North Carolina before I made the decision to come to Southeastern Regional Medical Center. And as a result of that, um, I think it's a good move for both of us. We have two children. We have two sons. Uh, son Chad, who's in Atlanta. He also is following mother's footsteps and has joined the healthcare um, contingent in the Atlanta area. And we have a younger son, Joshua, who is at the University of Kentucky pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering and will be finishing soon. I am the middle child of seven. My parents are still both active. Uh, they're in their 80s. They're in very good health uh, and have given me, again, great values. Um, they're excited about what I'm doing here and are happy that I'm 
uh, I'm fulfilled in what I'm doing and are very supportive and want to see me do well, want the organization to do well, and they'll visit. They'll come to North Carolina and visit us as well. My philosophy about management, uh, again, I, I believe that I'm here to facilitate the process, and that means that I need to have an open door policy, and I know that's a word that's used a lot, that people say there's an open door policy, but I encourage anybody who has feedback for how we can improve our organization, or if there are positive comments, I'll take positive comments any day, um, but if there are positive comments or concerns or questions that people might have, whether it's an employee, an, a physician, someone in the community who has um, an interest in this organization and want to see it grow, I, I'll take that feedback anytime. My door is always open. Uh, I can be stopped anywhere. I, I welcome those comments because that just makes us a better organization and makes me a better leader. I could walk maybe um, three to six steps. I'm out of breath. I was out hitting some golf balls. I knew something was wrong. Chest pains, a lot of pressure. I had five blockages. Knowing the partnership with Duke Cardiology and the local doctors, I was totally 100% comfortable having surgery done here at the Southeastern. And now I have energy to keep up with my kids. And I'm just looking forward to having a full life again. In the heart center, every nurse, all the doctors that came in, I was treated like a royal queen.